What is lockjaw? Do I have lockjaw? Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about lockjaw. First of all, depending on who you ask, lockjaw can either be specifically related to a tetanus infection or it can be used as a general term describing a jaw disorder, such as from TMJ issues. Pro tip, TMJ is your temporal mandibular joint and TMJ pain or TMJ disorder is often referred to as TMD. Since lockjaw is used interchangeably with different types of conditions, knowing how to fix lockjaw first starts with a formal evaluation and diagnosis because you're obviously going to need a different type of treatment if it's caused by a tetanus infection versus it being from a jaw joint disorder. However, if you have the tetanus version of locked jaw, you'll also be experiencing overall muscle stiffness throughout the body, headache, fever, changes in your heart rate and blood pressure, and sometimes even seizures. The point is with tetanus, your entire body is impacted, not just your mouth and your TMJ. But locked jaw is one of the most obvious symptoms to watch for, so just keep that in mind if you've never had any jaw issues before and you've been exposed to the tetanus bacteria and all of a sudden your jaw gets locked. I will link more resources in the description box if you'd like to learn more since that is not my scope of practice. But back to the purpose of this video, back to dental health. We'll be talking about locked jaw from TMD, which is sometimes referred to as trismus. That's when a person has limited movement in their TMJ, making it hard or impossible to open their mouth. So if your jaw gets stuck open or stuck closed, or even if you're trying to open just a small amount and it won't happen, or it's extremely painful to do so, what do you do? Calling your dentist is one of the best things you can do. A physical examination will help determine if you have TMJ disorder. Usually they will palpate your joint as you open and close your mouth if you can, and they will observe any irregularities such as the disc slipping out of place, popping, locking, dropping, just kidding. <laughs> <Give me permission. laughs> In some cases, your dentist can put it back into place for you, or sometimes they will refer you to an oral surgeon. However, before they attempt anything like that, depending on the severity, they will oftentimes need to take a panoramic x-ray or a full mouth 3D scan to assess the full anatomy of your TMJ and the surrounding structures. Lockjaw is generally due to something functional, like trauma or inflammation in the jaw. And it's typically going to be a result of TMJ disorder, TMD. So in those situations, how to fix lockjaw begins with managing your TMD, managing your jaw joint pain. Symptoms of TMD frequently include popping and clicking in the joint, pain, headaches, earaches, and of course, limited range of motion. To prevent lock jaw and jaw pain, or if you feel like the pain is coming on, some recommendations are invest in a bite splint or a clusal guard to ease muscle tension and protect your teeth. Massage your TMJ and surrounding muscles throughout the day. Alternate a warm and cold compress every 20 minutes. Consider getting braces to correct any tooth misalignment and correct your bite. Get screened for sleep apnea. It's all related. Exercise or meditate for stress relief. Sometimes jaw pain is due to clenching your jaw, which often happens because of stress. Take an over-the-counter anti-inflammatory NSAID, such as ibuprofen, as directed by your dentist or physician. Eliminate habits such as nail biting or gum chewing because that will aggravate your jaw even more. And temporarily switch to a soft diet if you're in so much pain that it hurts to chew. As for long-term treatment of locked jaw, again, we have to first find out what is causing it to properly treat it. For example, if your dentist finds that you have bruxism, clenching and or grinding, or sleep apnea, or atypical anatomy in or around your jaw, depending on what it is will determine what treatment you need. Some typical treatments will involve things like physical therapy to work on modified movement and range of motion, myofunctional therapy to work on opening up your airway and improving your tongue posture and positioning, orthodontic treatment to correct malocclusion, crooked teeth issues that can contribute to oral function, speech therapy or eating therapy if there are long-term side effects that inhibit normal activities, injectables such as Botox sometimes can help naturally relax the muscles around your jaw and your face, and last resort would be surgical reconstruction. This is when there is damage to the internal disc or bone. So in all, fixing locked jaw begins with a specific diagnosis. If you're looking for answers, always start by scheduling an appointment at your dentist's office. If you still don't have answers, it can be beneficial to schedule an appointment with a myofunctional therapist for they will evaluate your airway and tongue positioning, which will often directly relate to your jaw issues. There's so many different routes you can take to improve your TMJ issues, depending on what you need, right? So I will link all those resources in the description box below to help you get started on your journey to relieve jaw pain. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications if it did. If you want more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com and hang out with me on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.